please hand your ma. We need your Ajay International help right now. Because of so many people died, and I knew that uh, it is not fair, and we lost like uh, our freedom already, and our freedom is from the fear. So I made the decision to take back our democracy. That time I saw a lot of people uh, protesting on the street, and I can see the powerful mind from them. You know, they are shouting out aloud about what they want. Our people have no weapons. We don't have nothing. We only have a powerful mind. But they keep trying to uh, protest to the military junta very peacefully. So that's why I make decision to speak out on the international stage. I know that that can be rich for me. Of course, right now I cannot go back to my country, but I never be regret for that. Uh, my mom's very worried about me and so much uh, people worry about me, especially my family members. Yeah, of course, the social media, because the people from the military gender, of course, they're trying to be test me message like, when you go back to Nyama, the prison is waiting for you, or something like that, you know. On that day, more than 100 people died, you know. I didn't expect that, that kind of, so much, a lot of people died in Nyama. I didn't expect that. I know that you before come up to the state, you know. I was so shocked at the time. I, I, I was thinking that if I do the speech on the state, I need to do, a, I need to talk about that kind of things because nobody know about that. I believe that I made it. I hit the wall. Like at that time, I really want to cry. You know, I try to keep my tear because if I cry, I cannot speak for sure. So many people are uh, uh, living in the fear in Myanmar, and they cannot do anything, and they lost their future. So, but in, in other country, I can see everything is okay. If I have a chance to meet with the general mayor, I want to say that, like, I don't want to say. I just want to ask one question why you create the people to take the power mm -hmm.